This is my 1 in 350 scale German battleship Tirpitz. The kit is by Ravel with photo etch detailed parts also by Ravel. It's a very basic kit, it only has handrails and some radar pieces. This is the first model ship that I've built. It is over 10 years old. It is not in the original state that it was when originally constructed. I have added some panel liner to help bring out detail and added uh, better rigging. The reason why I chose this ship, especially as my first ship, is because it's an interesting ship and also availability, I suppose. It was in the shop and I saw it and, well, I liked it, so I bought it. But it also has quite an interesting history. It's the lonely queen of the north. It's a ship that spent most of its life by far hiding from aircraft in Norwegian fjords, only to eventually be sunk by aircraft anyway. But despite her apparent uselessness, she was actually useful in simply existing because that required the Allies to allocate resources to making sure that she was contained in her moorings in, in Norway so that she didn't break out into the Atlantic and then challenge the convoys. This is also the last battleship and the last class of battleships that Germans built. On this ship I learned a lot of lessons. It is my first and only brush painted ship. Airbrushing is considerably easier. But even though this is brush painted, I managed to do a decent job and brush lines for the most part aren't visible. The most difficult part to brush paint was actually the white. The paint didn't go on very easily. One of the major issues with this ship is silvering on the decals. When I built the ship, I was unaware of the fact that you needed to place a decal on gloss paint to prevent little air bubbles from being trapped behind it, which then creates this silvering effect. Subsequently, I did learn to first put down a gloss varnish over the paint and then apply the decal to that and then seal it in with a matte varnish again to avoid that, that uh, quite uh, substantial silvering effect. This was also prior to my discovery of Easy Line. This was a simple cotton thread, which was my first attempt even before I started with trying to use embroidery thread. You can see all the little bits of cotton being all fuzzy and not making a very attractive looking rigging. Also wasn't able to pull tight, otherwise it would bend the masts. Also there was originally no weathering, which makes it look very flat and fake. As you can see in this picture, by adding just a little bit of panel liner just to dirty up the ship and help bring out the details, it quite dramatically improved the overall visuals of the ship. This is also the, sh the ship that has by far the least photo etch on it and it's the lowest level of details out of all of my, all of my ships. As you can see, the anti-aircraft guns do look quite substantially out of scale. That's because they are simply plastic pieces. And the other thing that I tend to really like to replace, which weren't at this stage, are the um, staircases and ladders. When they're in plastic, they just look far too bulky and, and fake. But despite the, the lack of photo etch, I still think the ship came out quite well. And I still display it with all my other ships, even though it is uh, considerably less detailed. I don't think it looks too out of place. This ship also has guns without blast bags, which is something I've also tended to move away from. Prince of Wales also didn't have, doesn't have blast bags on that model, but that is actually historically accurate. Whereas the lack of blast bags on this model is historically inaccurate. I tend to like to build them with blast bags if they are available, and that's something that I should have done but didn't do. From what I remember, this kit was not particularly difficult to build, so it's probably a good place to start as a beginner ship. Not necessarily a place to start as the first model somebody ever builds. But I don't remember it giving me any trouble as the, the first ship that I built after a very long break in building models. That is all for this video on the Tirpitz. Thank you for watching. Bye.